okay. But anyway, <laughs> moving on. Moving on. Tell us about the business. Where were you at when you came on this course? You know, kind of what, what was leading up to this, and, and what were you trying to get out of it? Right. right. Basically, most of the time, um, the business sort of like focused on direct selling. Uh, basically, approaching people, having um, sort of like um, parties, yep. jewelry parties, and so on. Um, it's good enough for Virgin. It's good enough for you. It's guys. good enough yeah, for us. Absolutely. That's right. Um, so we decided to kind of like look at sort of like making an e-commerce site. Yeah. Just as a different another channel yeah. of actually um, selling our products. Um, we decided to um, open up a website. Uh, we'd actually engaged with um, a company whose name forgets me, whose name sort of like skips me at the moment. Um, what it is, they sell sort of like e-commerce sites. Yeah. And so on, and they sort of like handle all sort of like... Right, so they were going to do yeah, the kind of shopping basket side of it. The shopping basket and side of it and everything. You were going to do the aesthetics and the content. Yeah. yeah. But um, basically, you're quite limited in terms of sort of like the design. And yeah. Thing. And all you do is like pick a number of templates and pick which one's the best and right. so on. So you're but, looking for something a bit more flexibility, you're a bit yeah. more control long term. Yeah. Cool. And the initial site, this is not the initial site that we had, but the one we had was quite dark. Yeah. Um, the heading was quite dark. You couldn't really do much with it. It just had sort of like monkey Shirley sort of like in white. Yeah. Um, so you went with something a lot lighter, to a nice jewellery piece up here. Is it, I take it this is one of your pieces? It is, yeah. Good. It is. I thought you were going to say no then, but yeah, it's a great, great photography of one of your pieces, a bit more of a dominant image, you've got some video on there. Yeah. T t tell me about um, rich media and video, what, 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 are, you, what are your thoughts and, and plans around video? Okay. Because I, I guess that one of the good things about um, when you do a party is that you can kind of demonstrate it and people can see it from all different angles and see what it kind of looks like on. Yeah. You contrast that with one photo where people have to use their imagination. So. You know, is, is, is that the direction that you're going to take the video side? Most definitely. The reason why we decided to incorporate the video was that um, what it does is that the video actually introduces sort of like the shop. Um, it gives people sort of like a better insight into the actual products yeah. that we have. And um, another thing as well why we incorporate it was that it more or less alleviates kind of like trust issues that people may have with yeah. just being a website. You know, because anyone yeah, can set up a website. It's kind of real, and the people yeah, behind it's real. You know, it's kind of like, thing. yeah. So, so am I going to see? Uh, am I going to when, when switch on digital TV in a few months? Am I going to see Monkey Shirley up there with QVC then? Most definitely. Yeah. yeah. And I can uh, see you doing the channel actually. Yeah. Be yeah. Funny. Yeah. Big bugs sort of hanging from the nose. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Um, okay. But mainly it's to do with sort of like alleviating trust issues as well, and mm. the fact of the matter that you can actually sort of like demonstrate and you can talk to people about the product and so on. You can have a look at the shop and look at the design of the shop. And yeah. It more or less kind of like promotes sort of like our sort of like values. Yeah. yeah. So on. They, they can cross through it. Let's talk about traffic estimation and the and the paper click as well from that. Because I know that one of the concerns that, that you know we collectively had on the course, you and I together, was this idea of Pay-per-click seems to be working for kind of higher value, higher margin products, and actually, a lot of your stuff is very good value. It's low cost stuff. Yeah. And so, so we, we, you know, we both had this concern over number one, how could you generate the traffic, and, and, and number two, if it was paid search, you know, was there any possibility at, at all of making money out of that without going for sort of higher value products or bundling things together to try and get the overall sort of purchase price up. So let's start with the kind of traffic estimation. What, what was the key phrase that you thought might work under this? I know you're exploring themes and stuff. Really. Yeah. Um, at the moment, we're sort of like, having done some research on um, keywords using um, Word Tracker, yeah. um, we came up with the key phrase costume jewelry shop. Yeah. Um, the reason why we picked costume jewelry shop was that in terms of sort of like the long tail, it's quite like a niche word yeah. in that it's not, there's not so much competition yeah, so for that actual word. There's enough traffic to make it interesting, but there's not enormous, enormous yeah. competition for it. Right? Yeah, and basically um, it had a high sort of like KEI rate. Right. So KEI is referring to the, the, the difficulty, the likelihood of you being able to kind of dominate the position, page one at least really, isn't yeah. it? 
So that, that looked like a bit of an interesting key phrase for yeah. the train. Okay, so in terms of that, that has then um, informed your pay per click kind of initial calculations and whatnot. So yeah. take me through your PPC calculation for, for the phrase costume jewelry shop. Then. Right. Well, basically, based on the traffic estimation from a um, keyword tracker, yeah. um, it worked out that per annum there'd be a traffic estimation of approximately 50,000 50, visitors for, that phrase, right, yeah. for that phrase per yeah. year. And um, with a sort of like 1% click through rate, there'd be a possible traffic level of 500. Yeah, and so we have, we have lots of people who, are, who achieve 5, 6, 7% click through rate, so that would obviously scale up. You'd, you'd be looking at three or 4,000 customers, wouldn't you, if you could, if you could write the advert really effectively. Yeah, well basically that is, to improve that, obviously that depends on the quality of the site. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that, that also that 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 one's down to the quality of the the, the uh, paper clip advert. The paper clip advert as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of what what, what did it look like? You, you're talking about a two percent conversion into, into traffic. Yeah. Giving you a cost per inquiry of eleven quid. Conversion forty percent. Uh, cost per order twenty eight pound sixty. So th this is basically telling us this is a very expensive way of. It is. You acquiring at least the first order. So. Yeah. So what, what, what's your thought from there then? You need to make the site perform a lot better or you need to get the clicks radically cheaper or, or, or go for a series of phrases? What, what's in your thinking on that? Well, basically, in terms of um, selling, we're thinking about selling products that will more or less gain a higher rate of investment right. than the actual 28 so, so pounds, it's, 60. It's going up above where you initially anticipated. Yeah, because on average, the stuff that we sell, I'd say the average cost of most things is probably about like 11, 12 pounds per item. Per item. Yeah. The some are less, the some are more, yeah. but in terms of... See, I, I think what, what we do on the course, I think you could probably get the cost per order down to about 10 pounds. So I, th I think that'd be a sort of baseline realistically for getting an order. So, you know, if you built build that into your costs, you yeah. know, you'd be looking, I guess, at wanting to sell item, you know, items from or an order value of what, 30 or 40 quid around, you'd be looking yeah. to that around, wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, the thing is as well, what we're looking to do as well, we're looking to, in the future, is looking to um, more or less probably build separate websites for each particular type of item that we sell. Yeah. So if it's Baltic Amber, yeah. um, or Turquoise, yeah, or things, the, the things that are more simple. Yeah. yeah, things that are more um, more expensive than the usual sort of like. Uh, and going. also, because they're further into long tail, then the, the cost per order through paper clicks can be way it's lower. Be way lower. Yeah. I, I liked your your ideas on, on your theming. Actually, I think that's one of the nicest things that, that that we've seen out of some of the online retailers that we've had. Really, is this idea that you sort of, to me, you grasp this idea of of things being themed and collections of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and then obviously sort of spin off websites that concentrate just on Tibet and then you yeah. explore the, the kind of you know kind of compassionate um, you know production yeah. stuff around that you, people get the idea of some values from you Tibet rising in sort of the public consciousness yeah all that kind of stuff so yeah I think I, I look forward to seeing kind of a, some satellite sites that perhaps surround yeah. this that are kind of theme specific yeah, yeah. because basically things like Dominican number um, if you go into the site, there are actually articles and there's blogs yeah. um, in relation to sort of like Dominican amber, how it's mined, yeah. how yeah. it's actually processed, how it's refined and made into jewellery. Yeah. And there's actually pictures and so on. Hopefully, we hope to kind of like a mashup whereby Google can actually fly you in yeah. to Puerto Plata or whatever. Yeah, yeah that Dominican sounded amber. really interesting, that, that idea of. You know, Google Maps or Google Earth type functionality allowing you to perhaps travel the world. Yeah. Monkey Shirley traveling the world with you, showing you these 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 sort of themed areas. Yeah. So they are you know, what I like that as well because there's a lot an awful lot of costume jewellery out there, but actually you're about kind of look these this is yeah. special pieces, look the you know, we've gone to all you know, these lengths to try and find this stuff yeah. all over the world. Yeah. And that wet the the, the opportunity is sort of wet to you know, was Thank you.